Okay. A few days ago, I did a segment on the Black Hammer organization making a, I shit you not, a black ethno state. They bought 200 acres of land up in the mountains in Colorado, and they plan to make a no white people allowed commune type thing. It's going to fail miserably, of course. It's it's a complete joke. It really, really is. But I didn't really take them that seriously until I found out Ghazi Kodzo was part of Black Hammer, a significant part, in fact. Now, Hypers in chat, if you don't know who Ghazi Kodzo is, many of you might, but I know some of you at least probably don't. All right, we got some hypers. Some people in chat don't know who Ghazi is. Now, I know who Ghazi is from the anti-SJW 2016 YouTube days. Now, most of the takes that I remember from those days, from the YouTubers that I watched back then, are dog shit and aged very poorly. However... There was one thing they didn't miss on. There was one thing they were right about. This Ghazi Kodzo dude. This is him right here. They used to call him by the nickname Black Hitler. Because even back then, he was known for, one, hating white people with a burning passion. Two, being very anti-Semitic. And three, being very easy to make fun of. All right? It's unfortunate the guy has any following to begin with. But I gotta say, I'm proud of the old anti-SJW skeptic YouTubers from back in the day, because they were right about this. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Now, you may remember Ghazi here uh, for this beautiful uh, outfit here, his uh, Joker cosplay that he did. Um, now, Ghazi is a uh, anti-Semite. If you want some evidence of that, I can go ahead and bring up Twitter. I quote tweeted some nice, nice uh, posts he had on on uh, Instagram the other day. So here's some of Ghazi's posts on his story on uh, on Instagram. Here, uh, Chief Ghazi. Remember the Black Hammer organization? They go, by, they call the men Chief, uh, which is you know very larpy. So like the black thumbs up, then the Israel flag says, "Back to the oven they go." Now, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, during the Holocaust, they put the Jews in the ovens to cremate their bodies. Not all of them, of course. Most of the bodies were, were uh, burned in mass graves, uh, so much so that I believe there's actually, they did it by train tracks. And in fact, I believe there's evidence the bodies burned so hot that the steel on the train tracks was like warped because of the heat. Um, and that's where a lot of the evidence comes from, that the, there have been massive uh, mass graves there. But typically when people think of, like, the Jews being killed in the Holocaust, they think gas chambers and ovens. So that's clearly what that's a reference to. Uh, then we've got another one, Palestine forever, Israel isn't real, or isn't real, never. Uh, you know, almost a hit until you get back to the oven. Again, of course, and then a little chef emoji, a black chef emoji even. You know, this guy just wishes that the blacks were the ones that killed the Jews during the Holocaust. That's what he wishes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty problematic. I want to make it very clear here, by the way, that these people are not even remotely close to politically relevant, okay? 99.99999% of black people, if you showed them Ghazi Kozo, they would be like... Oh, well, this dude's fucking insane. Let's never, uh, you know, think about this guy again. Um, so I would refrain away from saying blacks. Yeah, probably, yeah, to be fair. Yeah, you're, you're probably right about that one. I don't want to say any comments about it, okay? Let's just relax, okay? Anyway, with that said, uh, I figured since Chief Ghazi here is a pretty significant part... Oh, he was also known for saying fuck... Uh, um, uh, how am I blanking on her name right now? Um, uh, fucking... In, in the attic, during the Holocaust, Anne Frank, Anne Frank, thank you. Uh, Anne Hathaway, Anne Frank. Um, he's also known for saying, fuck Anne Frank, she was a colonizer, and uh, she deserved to die and all that. And we shouldn't be learning about Anne Frank in school because she was white, and uh, white people are bad and deserve to die, so, yeah. BLM organizer? No, actually. Um, the Black Hammer organization, along with Ghazi Kodzo, hate BLM. They think that the fact that BLM is willing to work with white people 
um, is actually BLM selling out. They believe that BLM is actually like a, um, they, they've they called people who are part, like black people who support BLM, the C slur that I will not say because I do believe it's a slur. I will say though, it is the ending part of the word raccoon. Um, though I'm not going to say it because it is a slur. Um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a clip of him that went a little bit viral called... Isu's message to Antifa. Now, I want you to strap yourselves in because this is about to get Omega cringe. Oh, you want to play a video? All right. No suicide chat. Hide all the sharp objects or poison things in your room because you're going to want to end your lives quickly. All right. Nice. Mm hmm. Cool. He's swinging the sledgehammer. Is this Hypno Hotep? <laughs> Good one. Good one, Saucy Fox. This goes on for a hot minute. Yeah, Walmart Joker. He's doing whiteface right now, by the way. I just want to point that out. This is whiteface. This is racism. It's true. Unacceptable. society. I like how he's got his squad behind him, standing completely still, arms behind the back, legs spread out. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. It's Joker time, chat. Society! Hello, Antifa! <laughs> it's me, Gazi, the commander-in-chief of the Black Hammer Organization. Land back! I heard you had some not so nice things to say about me. I heard you had some nice things to say about my hammers. Mm. I heard you had not so nice things to do to one of my members, one of my dear, dear members, an African Filipino mother that you doxed and thought you could get away with it, thought we were gonna back down, thought we were gonna take it. I'm pretty sure the person that- That's not gonna happen. You wanna pause? Thank you. I'm pretty sure the person that they're referring to um, that got doxxed was like a very loud anti-Semite that Antifa, because you know, these people are fascists. This is fascism, by the way. When you engage in this anti-Semitism supporting Nazis and the Holocaust, this is just fascism slapped with like a woke progressive pe like uh, swash of paint you guys know that right just because you you advocate for colonized people to have their land returned when you advocate for ethno states and the segregating of race this is this is fa pretty fascistic okay this is like not something that we want to uh we want to support listen i love all people Except for furries and people who like feet. Them, I don't love them. But other than that, I love all people, okay? And I don't think that to have a good society and to try to do everything in our power to make up for the bad things that uh, white people mostly have done in regards to colonization, racism, all those things, I don't think the best way to amend that to stop racism, and so on, is to try to engage in more of the behavior that white racists, most notably in history, have done, but then call it woke. Just say land back next to it. Like, hey, we're not doing segregation because we're saying land back afterwards, and that's a woke catchphrase. I don't think that's the best way to handle it. Also, how do you guys like my new webcam border? You guys like it? I, I worked on it uh, with the help of Lonnie. She taught me how to make an even better one. I think it looks good. Yeah, LARP back. Happen. You messed with the wrong one this time. Yes, oh yes you did. Oh, yes you did. Cause we don't take it lightly when harm is done to our African and colonized women. And that's why at Black Hammer, we say, 
Touch one. Touch all. 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 And you touched one of us. So now you touched. I know they really want to look intimidating, you know, with like the the iconography of like you know, all together behind, like, arms crossed against the wall and everything. But this is really not that intimidating. I'm really trying not to laugh hysterically at the moment. Like, I'm really, I'm really trying, like, there's, like, 12 people here. Maybe 13. This gaggle, this, uh, I I've seen high school parties with more people uh, in this organization than there are in this organization. It's really not all that intimidating. What I'm intimidated by, maybe not intimidated, but more concerned about are white nationalists and neo-Nazis that have actual political power and influence in this country rather than people like this. And we're going to get into why I'm discussing this momentarily. All of us, and we're going to have to do something about it. Glam back. Glam back. Glam back. Glam back. Glam back. Glam back. And then you wanted to talk. Uh, Ghazi is straight up trying to act gay. He's doing gay face. I'm pretty sure Ghazi is gay. I'm, I'm pretty sure Ghazi's gay. Yeah, he's not pretending to be gay. He, he is gay. I don't, I don't know why you would say that. LARP back. Talk about me. You wanted to call me anti-Semitic. True, you yeah. You wanted to call me an anti-vaxxer because... We're against vaccines. <laughs> you wanted to call me all You want to call me an anti-vaxxer because we're against vaccines. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Wait. That's the definition. Yeah, no. If you are against vaccines, then yes, you would be an anti-vaxxer. Usually anti as the prefix and vaxxer as the suffix typically means you are anti the thing. But I don't really give a damn. And none of us give a damn. But where you went wrong was when you doxed one of my members, an amazing African Filipino mother. And you made her so worried about her own safety that she had to pay for a more expensive security system and she could barely afford it because you know that's the reality of us poor and working class Black people! We just don't have money to spend, 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 make it rain, rain, rain like that, and especially not with COVID taking all of our jobs away. So we told you you need to pay up. We told you you need to give reparations to our comrade that you- Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Can I show you guys something? I've showed it in my previous video on these guys, but I gotta show it, hold on. Black Hammer Reparations. This is the uh, reparations page on their on their website. Do you guys want to see the uh, the reparations that you guys can give if you are ashamed of being white? Now, listen. Um, I, you know, I'm very ashamed of being white myself. You know, um, white people quite cringe. Uh, you know, can never. If if you feel as though you need to wash away the sins of your ancestors, the things that uh, other white people did. Uh, hundreds and thousands of years before you were even born, you can pay the Black Hammer organization to pay reparations, guys. Look, um, there's first you have Shea level. That's $40. Sign up for a, si a single session of the boot camp. Oh, yeah, they, they have a, um, a reparations anti-white boot camp. So you can sort of like get rid of the shame of being white through a boot camp. It's pretty poggers, you know? And get a view of the experience and work it takes in order to disunite with your people's worldwide acts of genocide and terror. Take that first step into creating a world where no one lives at the expense of another. And show others that you have what it takes to make a material, not just ideological, difference in the lives of others. Whew. We've got Sankara level, $99. That's a four-week boot camp. Then there's a Mao level with $200. Sign up for an, the entire eight-week boot camp and get fully certified as someone who is united under colonized leadership. 
It's amazing. The Mao level, of course. I mean, all all of all of the people like this are Maoists. Let's be real. Like, like, yeah, they're tankies. Who would have fucking thought? Docs. And let me clear up all those nasty things you want to say about me and say about my father. Land back. Land back. Land back. Land back. Land back. Land back. See, Antifa, you want to co-opt our movement, but we're not going to let it happen. Not this time, Mayo boys and girls in your suburban world. I'd also like to point out, they are against Antifa. Hey, chat, what do we say about uh, the kind of people that are anti-Antifa? What are you if you are anti-anti-fascist? What, what do we call people like that? Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. We've got one of them in chat right now. Someone said Lamau Mayo crying. Pretty sure that's a... That's a ban, homie. Yeah, what do we call people that, uh... That say... That are anti-anti-fascist? In YouTube chat, I banned them. Alright, let's go. Girl, wanna jump on our hashtags? Just so you can come outside and play a video game and bust some windows, huh? Break down some businesses. Well, you've been messing up because you've been destroying black and brown businesses. Yeah, the hair braiders and the barbers. The bodegas. Uh-huh. You've been messing Wait. with our black and brown business. This is the exact argument that I hear... This is the exact argument that I've heard, uh... Uh, like conservatives make that BLM and Antifa are bad because they're the rioting is destroying black businesses. Have you heard that before? The the virtue signal argument of like, hey, I'm not against the message of Antifa or anything like that, but I'm going to engage in every talking point against it, uh, against Antifa and BLM because uh, look, they're they're burning down black businesses. Look, literally every argument conservatives make against BLM and Antifa. This is. Small businesses that literally uphold 12 to 20 family members. Just so you can play in the streets like the heroes or something. And then with an organization, Black Hammer, that's actually led by colonized people. Black and brown, poor working class people. You know, the ones that are actually dying. The ones that are actually dying. We're the Brianna Hills. We're the Mike Browns. We're the Sandra Blands. So who the heck are you leading all these protests? Who the heck are you? Talking to you too, BLM. We know you're paid for by the Democratic Party. We know you'll do anything that the Democrats say. You're not for our people. You're pocketing all that money. Yeah, I saw that you made two billion this summer off of George Floyd's name. Fakers. But we've been leading our own thing. We've been doing our own thing. And then Antifa wants to co opt it. No, nope, not the gonna... only. The only reason that Derek Chauvin was found guilty on all three charges is because of BLM and Antifa. If this was another, another incidence of a white cop killing an unarmed black person, that, and it didn't get any media coverage. This happens all the time. Plenty of times this happens. And most of the time, it just does it. No one gets a video of it, or it doesn't make the news, and they end up getting off scot free. Hell, even back with the uh, 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 with Zimmerman, he got off, and there, there was fucking recording of it. That was back in like the what the late like two thousand eight. when the Zimmerman thing happened, like two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Hey, all right. Yeah, what, what, what did you guys uh, do? 2012? Really? No, no, it wasn't. Th no, there wasn't a recording of George Zimmer. There was camera footage. I'm pretty sure there was camera footage. 2012? I remember hearing about it in 2010. Huh, I guess it's the Mandela effect. Holy shit. Not of the incident, Zan? Oh, not of... Okay, well, all right. I could have sworn there was something... This is a long time ago. This is like old... It's an old thing that happened. 
Oh, just before he all actually shot. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Wasn't it footage of the kid, though? Not having a weapon or anything that could seriously harm him? Oh, interesting. There was a 911 call recording? Yeah, maybe I'm a time traveler. <laughs> the real Mandela effect is forgetting that Mandela was a communist. Nice meme. But yeah, no, BLM is probably solely responsible for there being enough public backlash that, uh, 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 you know, Derek Chauvin was actually found guilty on all three charges. They want to dox one of our members and think they get away with it. No, nope. it's not going to happen. Land back. Land back. Oh, I remember that Land one. Land back. Land back. So we're coming here today to say very clearly. Zan back. Don't touch African and colonized women, children, men, any of us, but specifically African and colonized women. And if you think that we're joking, <laughs> if you think that we're playing, maybe you should ask my niece's ex-boyfriend who hit her and knocked her tooth out of her mouth. Ask him how he's doing. Because the streets may call him Jarrell, but I call him Sweet Booty. Ain't that right, Sweet Booty? <laughs> yeah, we don't play about our people. What? Did he rape them? Wait, wait, hold on. I was about to say. I, I was thinking he was going to say that he beat the guy up. Like, okay, if, you're, if your sister or whatever got, like, hit by her boyfriend and you went and you beat the guy up, that's one thing. But wait, did he, did he rape him? Wait, did he just... Wait, what? Sweet booty. What? What? Hold on. Wait, did he... Oh, wait, how am I can't stop twitching because now my brain is is like trying to figure out what the fuck that meant. Can somebody tweet at him and ask, wait, did you rape that guy? Is that what you like? Wait, what? Did you fuck him? What, what? I have no clue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. How much more do we want to watch? Do we want to watch more? Hypers in chat if we watch more. You guys want more? All of it? You guys want to watch all of it? Damn. You guys are into suffering, aren't you? Okay. We don't do that over here. Land back? Land back! Because we really believe... Touch one! Touch all! Touch one! Touch all! Touch one! Touch all! Touch one! Touch, all. touch all! That's what we believe. Yeah. And you touched one of them. This reminds me of that part in the Joker movie where he he has that that moment where he's up on the stage doing the stand up and he he's he's like deluded into thinking that everybody's laughing and and uh, and thinks that he's really funny, but then in reality everyone is like laughing at him and all of his jokes were just falling flat entirely and he just sounded deranged up on the stage. I feel like that's what's happening to Ghazi here. And he believes like right now that he sounds like Negan. He thinks he sounds like Negan in that one scene where they introduce him in The Walking Dead where everyone's sitting on their fucking knees and they're terrified of him. He's got all of his boys behind him. He's walking around with the with the baseball bat and he, he's like hot shit. That's what Ghazi is imagining himself looking like right now. But in reality, it's the Joker scene where he's up on the stage. That's that's what he's imagining right now. That's what's going on right now. But for now, you're gonna pay. I'll tell you how you're gonna pay at the end of the video, okay? Because we just wanna have a conversation, Antifa. We just wanna have a conversation, and then you give us the money that you made our African Filipino woman have to pay so she could protect her family because you doxed her because she said that she is not taking the vaccine. And her child, will not be taking this COVID vaccine. Cool. And you wanted to mock her and make fun of her yeah. for that. Yeah. I guess you want to make fun of the fact that the Pfizer company is number three on the top list for being sued uh -huh. for wrongful deaths. 
Okay. Pfizer, who last year, 2019, killed hundreds of African children with another of their vaccines. It was the vaccine? We, black and brown people, we are the lab rats. We do anything to us. Hold on. Who is this lady? We can make fun of her some more. Dude, they're, they're basically, they're, they're like... They're like your average sunglasses wearing in the truck profile picture Facebook boomer conservative parents like in their mid 30s to 40s, you know, like you can't make this shit up. They're anti-vaxxers. Are they flat earthers? I, I, I want to hear. I want to hear them say they're flat earthers. I need to hear it. Yeah, I need to hear it. Okay. Yeah, is this the new Purge movie? You okay, buddy? And you're probably wondering, why does he have this mask? Why does he have this makeup on? It's called Eshu Energy. What? And if you know anything about clown makeup, white people made fun of us like this. Yes, so you're doing white face? The jokes on them. Wait, is he actually doing white face? Yeah. We say we're not taking the vaccine. We want to see how the white people in the suburbs fare with the vaccine before we take the vaccine. Yeah, I'm working yeah. on it. I'm working on we getting... We want to see how the rich white people fare with the vaccine before we take the vaccine. We're not your lab rats. Wait, isn't like the actual woke position that we need to get vaccines out to the most affected people by COVID? Wait. He literally just earlier talked about how the COVID pandemic is affecting like black businesses and black people losing their job. And now he's saying that they, he doesn't want black people getting the vaccine because the vaccines are probably, they, they want everyone to get the vaccine. I'm, I'm going to get the vaccine as soon as possible, me and Lonnie, because I'm, I want to go out and do shit. I don't like having this COVID stuff get in the way of me, you know, I fucking I turned 21 during the pandemic. Okay, I haven't even been able to go to a to a bar and have like a drink next week. Well, we're getting a next week. Pog, Lonnie. Like, listen, the big problem is white people in the middle, like middle class and upper middle class and like upper class in general having at like way more access to the vaccines than poor, especially uh, uh, like minority groups have. We're not your lab rats anymore. You I don't know yet, rats. Game Master. We're just gonna watch you take it, and we'll see you in six months, and then we'll talk about taking the vaccine. Does that make us anti-vaxxers? Antifa? Does that make us stupid? Antifa? Of course you wouldn't understand. Antifa? Because you're white-led. Antifa? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck white people, true. Okay. So you don't know what it's like to be a lab rat. You don't know what it's like for the black women who are slaves to have to be cut open and dissected. You don't know about that history. That's why we have to lead the revolution, not you. All right. I'm going to hop out in front of this one before he starts trying to use it as, uh, as ammo against taking a vaccine for COVID. Um... Hold on, is this what I was thinking of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Tuskegee syphilis study. Do you guys, uh, have you guys heard about that? Basically, it was, um, God, it was really fucked up. Hold on, let me see if I can find, yeah, 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 here it is. It was back in the 30s. Um, in 1932, the Public Health Service, working with the Tuskegee Institute, began a study, um, to record the natural history of syphilis in hopes of justifying treatment programs for blacks. It was called the Tuskegee Study of Untreated Syphilis in the Negro Male. Wow. Extremely fucking racist. Um, very much, uh, it was abusive and it was unethical and everything. From my understanding, the idea was to trick black people into thinking that they were being given um, medicine to help treat syphilis, when in reality what they were doing was not giving them medicine and just studying them to see uh, what happens when it's left untreated for long periods of time so they could study it. Not only that, um, 
not only that, but they did similar things with uh, gay people, gay men usually, um, when it came to treating uh, HIV and AIDS, um, where they they gave like half of the of the group none and half of the group the medicine to try to like see whether or not it was working. But then they found out and were like, oh shit, they're not giving a, all right, well, let's split it up. And they start giving each other medicine to try to help each other because guess what? It may have seemed like they were just trying to test the medicine, but these were people's lives they were playing with. Yeah, it was a double blind study. Well, I don't think it, was it a double blind study? Did the, did the doctors not know who was getting, no, the doctors must have known who was getting the medicine and who wasn't. A double blind study, I believe, is from the doctors and the, um, is that wrong? I don't know. Listen, not a scientist. Yeah, there are plenty of ex of examples of this happening, like uh, marginalized people being used as lab rats, essentially, with no regard for their lives or health um, when it comes to testing medicine and de diseases and whatnot. But let's not use that as an example, as like an argument against the idea of vaccines, okay? No, if they weren't actually treating them. Wait, what? All right, I'm confused. Chat has too much of a delay. I can't communicate. Don't stun lock me, chat. I'm getting stun locked. Cave beast. Not you. Tom and Karen, call the police. If you see us walking, call the police. Oh, okay. Hold on, Doge Professor is correct. Double blind study is when you have two groups of test subjects. One you give the medicine to, and the other a placebo, and tell both groups they've had the medicine, so they're both... It, it, yeah, double blind study. There you go. Yeah, what would be the point of not telling the doctors? <laughs> that would be pretty fucking pointless. I don't know what I was thinking there. Police, if he's not children, walk and call the police and kill us. And kill us. And kill us. And kill us. I need nicotine. I'm gonna kill myself. Huh. Yeah, the placebo effect is a big hey, thing. You wanted to call me, what's the word? Anti Semitic. Well, let me tell you something. My name ain't Nick Cannon, I ain't backing up from this. <laughs> no way, Jose. I said what I said, period. Yeah. I said I don't give a fuck about Anne Frank and I meant it. Why would I care about a white Jewish girl who has a museum, who we are forced to remember every year in schools, but I and none of you could name a single girl that died on the slave ships from Africa to here. Why don't we know any- Well, hold on. Okay, for starters, the reason why we study the Holocaust is because it's important to know your history so you don't repeat your history. Two, the reason why we don't know the name of anybody who was transported on slave ships is because for the most part, all of their inf For one, when they came to America and they were enslaved, they were forced to take on a different name. For starters, okay, usually the last name of whatever rich white bastard was, um, was, was owning them usually their last name or their first name, two, two, because most likely most of their information, belongings, and identity was taken away from them when they were stolen from their homes. Like, what? Yeah, n no shit. The reason why we don't know their names is one of the biggest, like, atrocities committed by the people who took them to be slaves. That's one of the biggest atrocities. They took away their history and their and their like identity. Their names. Why do we know any of the little African slave girls' names who died? Why don't we know their names that were chained and squished together so tightly you couldn't breathe in your own blood, mucus, and everything? We don't know any of those little black girls' names. But I know about Anne Frank, a white Jewish girl. I'm in America, United States of America, what is called Turtle Island for real. And I have feet right here, look at my feet, resting on- Also, I'm pretty sure black people that could write and read were punished for it. They weren't allowed to be taught how to read and write. So a lot of black history is like very hard to come across and has had to be like, 
pieced together because it's very true. Um, black people weren't allowed in many cases to read or write. If they were caught writing or reading, they would be punished. So it's kind of hard to write down your history. Generations of history, by the way. You have to understand, if you were brought to America in like the 16 or 1700s and slavery was, you know, there were decades, like literal generations of slaves, mostly like fucking separated from their families. Like if you were a woman who gave birth and had a daughter or a son, they might have been sold off and wouldn't have even been old enough to know their family and their family's history, even by word of mouth by that point. It's really, really hard to, um, to, un to like write down that history, even from your own like family's perspective, when for one, many generations weren't allowed to learn how to read or write. And even if you were told, like, even when you got to a point where you were allowed to learn how to read and write, to write down that history and, and, and have those stories uh, written down, when you're separated from generations of your family, it's hard to even know that story by word of mouth. Bloody soil of millions of indigenous girls. I don't know any of those indigenous girls' names. I don't know any of their names or their stories, but I know about white Jewish girl and Frey. That is genocide. That is genocide. But the, the, the difference is black people who were kept as slaves in the South weren't allowed to read or write. But Anne Frank was hidden up in a in an attic while she was being hunted to be exterminated and had a diary that she wrote. Yeah, Anne Frank was genocided near the end of the war. Her diary was only published by her family members surviving and finding it, knowing she wanted to become an author. But she was white, I guess, so, yeah. Where they kill you and you only care about their martyrs. And don't tell me that a white Jewish girl and Frank ain't white. Just because two white people are fighting don't mean that that white person's not white to my black behind. Ask the black Jews. Hey, the motherfuckers doing the genocide didn't consider them white. Sorry, race is a social construct. Right? May I, listen, I thought this was like the basic, like a basic understanding of like woke uh, you know, progressive ideology is the understanding that uh, race as we know it today is extremely socially constructed. And just because someone, when you look at their skin, it's white, doesn't necessarily mean that they're white to everybody. So they hate all Jews. They apparently don't hate Jewish people who don't have white skin. Um, to them, race is very skin deep, it seems, when it comes to, like, those that appear white. So they, um, yeah. Yeah, turn that, tell that to the Nazis in, uh, in 1940s Germany. In Brooklyn, who had their children ran over by white Jews if white Jews are white. Ask the Palestinian children who are bombed and drowned every day by white power Israel if they... All right, Israel is cringe, Zionism is cringe, but we don't use anti-Zionism as, as uh ammo against the jews as a whole that's what nazis do that's what nazis do Gazi. you're nazi posting right now you would probably have a good time on 4chan though they would the people on 4chan would call you the n-word but you know still are white if those white jews are white you see antifa you wouldn't understand because you're white lad you're white so of course you can't see other white but trust me my blacks can see other white my black ass can see other white other white. Ask oh. the African Are you white, Gazi? Jews from Ethiopia, the first real original Jewish people. If the white Jews in Israel who forced genocide on their bodies, if they are white. So yeah, Anne Frank was a white Jew. There's white Jews, there's African Jews, there's colonized Jews, but then there's white Hold on. Jews. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't most like Jewish people in is in Israel like kind of brown. Like isn't that like maybe I'm wrong, but like eh they're kind of white. I looked up some pictures of uh I just looked up Israeli people on Google Images and they look pretty white. They're pretty white looking. 
They, 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 they're pretty, they're pretty white looking. I'll give them that. There are Arab Jews. Yeah, of course there are. Isn't like, isn't Arab like more of a, of a, like a, an ethnic group than it is like a religion? Some are white, some aren't Sander Hall. I know some are white, but I'm curious if like most of them aren't white looking, you know? Neither Jews. So why, again, would I, me, totally black, Totally seeing genocide every day through my eyes. Give a dang about you. Who have produced a life off of my life. Who has produced a life off of my life. Who has produced a life off of your life. Who has produced a we heard life you, Gazi. off of your life. Who we heard you, Gazi. We, we heard you the first time, Gazi. Is the host supposed to care about the parasite? No. But I care about my people. And who are my people, you Careful, ask? Careful, Who are my people, you ask? Who are my people, you ask? Who are my people, you ask? My people are African and colonized people. I'm obviously African, but I am in unity with all colonized people, AKA not whites, but they call us people of color, but our real uniting force is that we all have the same boot, white power colonialism boot on our necks. Hey. What about the Irish and the Welsh? There have been people asking the uh, Black Hammer organization on Twitter, what about Irish people and Welsh people? People that you would look at and think are white, but have been uh, subjugated by the British. What about them? And they were like, no, not them. Not, not those colonized people. They aren't allowed. Or the Ukrainians, not them, because they're white. Not those colonized people. Huh. On our necks, that's a huh. Yeah. So we, colonized, poor and working class people, have united forces and created Black Hammer, an anti-colonial organization for the total liberation of African and colonized people. We are building a city with no cops, no Rona, no rent, and no Mayo Saxon. Mayo Saxon? Wait, do you know what Saxon means? Wait, wait. Wait, you understand that Saxon refers to... I'm pretty sure that it refers to like a very particular part of British. Yeah, hold on. Wait, here's a map. Here's a map that'll give you a good idea of, of, of some, you know, good education here. You have English Saxons down in, in south, southeast England. The, the English Angles, EJ, don't know what that stands for. We've got a question mark here. I, I don't know. Uh, you have the Franks, fr fr Frisians, Frisians, Saxons, I guess, because they, I guess, when Britain, this land was colonized, they came from here. Angles and, and Utes? Jutes? I don't fucking know. Jutes, I guess? Like, all these people you would consider white. But they are not Saxons. EJs is the Jutes? Okay. Yeah. This is a perfect example of how, like, our modern-day understanding of what is white is very different. Very, yeah, it means Germanic. Sax Saxo or Saxon. It refers to history of G Germanic descent. Yeah. Anglo-Saxon literally refers to people that came from Europe, so Americans aren't Anglo-Saxon? Not really. A lot of people from Nordic countries weren't considered Anglo-Saxon. Yeah, also, we haven't considered the idea of Saxons to be accurate to defining ethnic groups for, like, hundreds of years. Hey, Lonnie. Same shirt. Ooh, okay, I can change my shirt after this segment, so I'm not wearing the same shirt I've worn for two days. Thanks, Lonnie. No cave Tom, no cave Becky, no cave Talon. Just us. What? Coming together, uniting as one. No divisions about gender or sexuality or any of those things. And we're gonna build a city where we can prosper, where we can be, where we can walk outside and not have a target on our backs. Please don't kill me today. Please don't kill me today. 
We've been giving our poor working class people KN95 masks, medical grade masks. Remember when they said that it didn't matter what kind of mask you wore? Cloth masks, they were killing us. We always knew it was N95, KN95. And we've given our people free medical PPE. And oh God, I mean, I knew they were anti-vaxxers, so I knew they were anti-science, but I didn't expect them to do this argument. So. If you guys remember from the beginning of the pandemic in early to mid 2020, we didn't know yet how masks work with COVID. As a matter of fact, we didn't even know if N95 masks were effective when it came to protecting yourself from COVID, but were recommended to wear them anyway, just to be safe, because we didn't know yet. But then we found out that the masks, not cloth masks, though they can help stop spit and other little particulates that you might eject whenever you speak from getting around. Like, if you're somebody who occasionally might have a little, you know, gobule of spit come out of your mouth, a cloth math mask will probably stop that, but it won't stop your breath and little, little particles from coming out. But it helps a little bit, right? A cloth mask is better than nothing, to be clear. But N95 masks are probably what you want to wear. Like, uh, you know, like, hold on, actually, um... I've got a uh, I've got a good example of this. Hey Lonnie, can you bring me one of the masks from the drawer? I want to do a quick demonstration really fast. Masks sort of work. Well, they don't seem to help when it comes to inhaling potential COVID uh, particulates that could be in the air, like your little like in your breath. It helps with preventing it from escaping out into the air. It keeps it from sort of spreading around, you know. Yeah. In fact, what you want is a plague doctor mask. Or a gas mask, although I don't know how much a gas mask will do do for you. I bought a gas mask, yeah. Walk down the street looking like Hunk from uh, from Resident Evil. Yeah, Zan is in the mood to torture his audience. Hey, you're getting tortured, okay? Someone in my chat named Joker said kill all white devils. I don't know if you're memeing, but if you continue to do that, then uh, I'll ban you. Because I don't, I don't know if you're I don't know if you're memeing or not. White devil. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the saying white devil is racist, too. Like, not against white people, but against black people. Lonnie. Lonnie, where's the mask? Did Ghazi do something crazy lately? Peyton. Ghazi's doing something crazy constantly. Yeah, go to the shops. Okay. All right, until Lonnie brings the mask, I'll just continue. Um, yeah, let's go. Free vitamins and free herbs and free food and free clothes. Creating dual contending power. And we didn't take no money from no Democrats. Black Lives Matter. We didn't take no money from George Soros. Black Lives Matter. We did it with our own money. We did it with our own... Hmm, money from George Soros. Where where have I heard that talking point before? Hmm. Where have I heard that talking before? Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I was your Thank you, babe. Hmm. Here, let me uh, demonstrate the difference between one of these masks and a cloth mask and what we have learned, all right? So here's... It's like it's called like an N95 mask, right? It's like it's the kind you buy at the store, you know. You get one, you pinch the thing over your nose, and get a nice, nice meme going on here, right? Now, if I go ahead, that's not N95. What's this called again? What type of mask? It's, it's just a medical mask. They don't have a name for it. I don't know. That's what happens when you exhale through one of these masks. Let me show you what happens when you exhale through the equivalent of a cloth mask. We'll just put this over my mouth for demonstration. It goes right through it. 
That mask stops it from just projecting forward whenever I blow out. Well, that, well, this just lets me blow right through it. Science moment, a science demonstration. You can also do the same thing by blowing through a cloth mask and blowing through one of those masks with a, with a little match or a lighter. See if you can blow out the flame. We did it with the communities. Help. Yes, we need help. Black power. Land back. Land back. Land back. Land back. We did it. We did it with ourselves. We gave food, clothes, and housing to our people. Because they're not going to do it for us, are they, comrades? No. Are they, comrades? No. Are they, comrades? No. Because we're going to save ourselves. No one else is going to save us. So we're building dual contenders Zan now. back. But anyways, tired of this shameless plug. <laughs> now back to what this show is about. Antifa, we just want to have a talk. So could you come meet us? Chief Shagoon, what is the address? Martin Luther King Jr. Library. Martin Luther King Junior Library, Denver, Colorado. Thank you so much, Chief Shagoon. Meet us there on January 31st. What time, Shagoon? 4.30 p.m., y'all. Show your face. 4.30 p.m. Come meet us. Come on outside, Antifa. Okay. Now they're saying, like, catch me outside. How about that right now? That's, that's what we're getting right now. This is the... This is like the Hotep version of Catch Me Outside. How about that? Wait, I need to show you guys something. I have a good meme, all right? I promise it's worth it. I hate Twitter so much. Stop it. What is a Hotep? Look it up. This is the reason why they decide to make their Hammer City place here on this land is because they found the one place the one place where they could go outside and not touch grass. It's very important. Grass will be strictly banned from Hammer City. That land is literally unworkable. Yeah, it looks like very... Uh, very much not farmable land. Yeah, there will be a grass ban there. I'm not talking about weed. Literal grass. No, none allowed. They cannot touch grass. It is, it is strictly forbidden. <laughs> All right. Listen, guys, the reason why we're talking about this is to make fun of them. But, but, we want to be very careful that we don't let them escalate beyond being a joke to laugh at, all right? Because the Black Hammer organization recently had some correspondence leak. Turns out, what Black Hammer has been trying to do is purposefully come off as silly and ridiculous as possible in order to get as much publicity as they can. Because they know, just like Donald Trump knew during his 2016 run, that bad publicity is still good publicity because any publicity is good publicity. So, when it comes to covering these people, we want to make sure that we're laughing at them, and then that's it. We don't make them a bigger deal than they're meant to be. We don't give them 24-hour fucking coverage. Give them a laugh, make fun of how ridiculous they are, make it clear to anyone who could possibly be charitable to them how much of a joke they are and how not worth their time they are, and then move on. That's it. Because you don't want to give them serious attention. They've said they have the intent of trying to get as much media publicity as possible to try to make it so people will donate to them and give them money. God forbid give them reparations money. If you're, if you're a white person out there that hates yourself, that hates being white so much and feels so bad for being white that you would give these guys money, then please promptly... You would have a better time taking a fillet knife to your body and skinning yourself. All right, because guess what? If you think that you, if you think that giving money to this organization is going to free you from the, uh, the, the, <laughs> from the sins of being white, then I'm sorry, but uh, I don't think that's going to do it. All right, I don't think I, I think you got a, a different, different thing going on there than just 
wanting to make up for the sins of your ancestors. Anyway, I thought it would be pretty cool to cover how, like, these Hotep types, these, like, black separatist, uh, anti-white types are basically Nazis. Like, their talking points are basically Nazi talking points with a coat of woke paint. Because it's not actually woke, of course. I put woke in quotation marks. Um, yeah, it, it is quite uh, uh, funny, these people. They're very fun to make fun of. And let's just keep it there, okay? The, the anti-masking stuff, the anti-vax stuff, the talking points you would hear from Nazis on 4chan. Pretty damn similar, am I right? Anyway. Oh yeah, and of course the anti-Semitism, obviously. The anti-Semitism too. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon if you're new and you want to see more from me. Definitely subscribe. Uh, you know, leave a comment on the video. It helps the video out a lot. Uh, you can follow me on tw TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, all through the links in the description. You can join my fan Discord at the link in the description. If you want to support me financially to help me do this for a living, you can pledge me on Patreon, donate or subscribe on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, or super chat and hit the join button to become a channel member on YouTube to become, well, a channel member. I appreciate any monetary support or just you know, uh, likes, subscriptions, all that kind of stuff helps a lot. Nice comments and so on. Thank you for watching and have a good one.